story time. You know, I was just sitting here and I was thinking about some of the stuff that happened in jail. Some of the inmates. And I thought about King because, you know, King was one of my favorite. Only because I respect his gangster for real. And I found out later that he was from the town that I was from. And the prison that I worked at, they did not want no inmates from my town there because it was turned up. Um, King, I remember one time I was sitting down and jump. Everybody was scared of this dude for real. Um, he was always smiling. He, when he saw me, but he was serious. But this dude was like, he was no nonsense. So he came down to the gym and he was getting his hair, uh, braided. Um, so when he got his hair braided, he would not let, he, it was a dude in there that was straight that braided hair, but most of the gay dudes braided hair. i never forget this. This had me rolling. So one of the gay dudes, because he was nice looking, wanted to braid his hair. I don't know why he asked King that he wanted to braid his hair. That was the worst mistake in his life. Um, this is how you know you're going to get beat up with M.A. King. When King look at you with that serious face, and he take his shirt off. Because he was very neat. Kept his clothes clean. When he took his shirt off. You already know what was coming. I guess the gay dude didn't understand what was getting ready to happen. But it was getting ready to happen. And I knew what was getting ready to happen. I'm sitting at the desk. He don't even talk to gay inmates. He, he, had, they, he had nothing for him. So when the inmate asked him whatever he asked him. Because I didn't hear, but it was unusual uh, for them to be talking to the, him because he don't even talk to him. Him or Keith, neither one talked to them. Um, I was rolling. He stood up and took his uh, shirt off. Let me tell you, I went into a straight panic because I could fight a lot of them inmates, but not him. When I say he was the Thanos of our prison, I am not playing. That boy stood up, and he was only about five seven, five eight. That boy body looked like a piece, a piece of brick, and them hands was deadly, just like Thanos. When that boy stood up and took his shirt off, I peed on myself because there was nothing I could do, and I know them slow, fat COs was gonna get there too late. I ran over there and I jumped in between them quick and stopped it. <laughs> 